Mercedes. How can I help you? Can you say, good morning, world? Please repeat. Good morning, world. And how are you today? So this week, this week I got to clean up beside my garage and trailer because whether you like it or not, winter's coming, you know. So this here, this all needs to go away. But I'm not gonna make you watch that today. So as you know, I bought a 2019 Mercedes Sprinter. It's the 170 series wheel, wheelbase, and it's four wheel drive straight from Mercedes. And voila, I kind of did something in the background. But let me slip you onto this tripod. So I'm gonna beg you, please, 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 don't get mad at me. So I kind of explained that between building the van, holding my job, making videos, selling everything we own, that making videos of the whole build is gonna be really tough for me to do. So I decided to just take the liberty of getting it done, and I think you guys are gonna be pretty impressed. So with further ado, let's open her up. Are you ready? Let's do it. Sprinter van converted into a home. So here, come here. Lean in, lean in more. Come on, you almost got it. All of you, all of you at the same time. Three, two, one, lean. Whoa, hello. Good work, peeps. That's the Dares Drives teamwork we've been looking for. They're now inside my home, well, my future home. Either way you wanna look at it. So let's start with the front. We have a fireplace. So this fireplace is what's gonna heat the whole thing. It has digital display, it has Celsius and Fahrenheit. Up, down, all that kind of fun stuff. Nice and lightweight. And we just have it hooked into 110. So for the 110 of the van, you'll see, we only put three plugs in, because really I don't need anything for the back of the van. So it's three plugs with child safety. Look at that, eh? It's all about the safety. So right now it's just the fireplace plugged in. And to run the power to the van, I took a line and I run it straight to the front tire, and that front tire will give us all the power we need inside this van. Once you go from there, we left the divider in. This divider separates the driving area from the living area. So as I like to say it, business in the front, party in the rear. Ha ha, it's like a mullet, you know what I'm saying? So as you move over from where the divider is and the furnace, you'll see this nice sharp looking gray shelving unit we put in. This is gonna hold all of our important stuff. As you see, I brought my old PlayStation 4 box, my old PlayStation 4 camera box, a bunch of corrugated like egg carton material, some other boxes, as well as a bunch of extra wires just in case we ever need it. And yes, of course, the coffee maker. The coffee maker is super important. So this is a top of the line coffee maker, brand name of nothing. That's how good it is, okay? Oh, never mind. Sunbeam, sorry. And if you look inside, oh yes. So I've been aging some coffee for us. I don't know if you've ever had aged to perfection coffee, but when it has that white stuff on top, it's almost there, so close. We're gonna save that for our first outdoor adventure. So once we move over from there, we have a blue bucket. If you follow van life channels, you know exactly what the bucket's for, right? So this, Actually has a little bit of a groove in the front. Well, being a male, right? So, with that also being said, this bucket, because nobody wants just a straight bucket sitting there. So let me show you what we're gonna do with it. No matter where you are and traveling to, you can always, oh, perfect. You can always have fresh plants that are grown for whatever destination you're from. Just makes you feel at home when you're in those weird destinations you've never been before. And just gives you that fresh air smell of plant life. Keeps the oxygen clean inside your van as well. Beside that, I built a shelf. Yep, it looks like a pallet, but kind of is. Either way, I like that old school look, the wood, old antique type look. And this really set it off for me. I also put a tabletop on top of it. That way we have a nice bench. So you know standing desks are the new trend. Better for your back, whatever else. Myself, when I'm editing videos, I like to sit. So I brought this super comfy. Here, let me set you down. I brought this super comfy captain's chair. As you'll see, it has a bit of a lean to it because typically I'll sit this way. And that lean 
I need to get a better angle. Hold on. There you go. There you go. You can see me real good from there. The lean, if I turn it this way, which is the way I'll usually sit, it leans whoa. <laughs> it leans perfectly anyways. I'm sure you guys got the point from that. I'm not gonna show you too much. So directly across from my desk, you see I have a cooking area. So I have a full grill style cooking surface, plus a counter on both sides. Because well, you need a spot for the beer, you need a spot for your spices on your steak and whatever else. The way it's mounted to the ground, you will see three points of contact. One, two, three. That is more than enough points of contact. Why people put four on, it's usually overkill. And I don't really need to bolt it in even because well, we invested in a Mercedes. And if you know Mercedes, well, they ride like they're on a cloud of air. So anybody that has one of these Mercedes Sprinter vans and they're bolting everything in, telling you how important it is to keep it rigid, they're being silly. Don't even worry about it. Okay? Okay. So that moves us to our ceiling. Our ceiling, I like the old cottage styles where you can see the rafters, nice ceiling. And this ceiling is absolutely beautiful. Look how smooth and clean that is. It has LED lights at the front, LED lights at the rear, and it also has a couple side lights around the vent. More than enough for what we're gonna need for simple living in a 90 square foot, if that even, 90 square foot living area. So that brings us to two more seats. These are very simple seats. They just rest right there. It's a perfect spot for them. They'll never go anywhere, okay? So you literally just pull it down. Whoop. Only pull one down at a time though, okay? And now, we have a seat for friends. Pretty neat, eh? So we got the actual one there, plus that lovely captain's chair with this speckled look to it. So behind this, once you're done with your friends, now it's time to go to bed. So over here at the back, I have the perfect bed setup. So I'm gonna set you down again. I'm gonna show you me lying down in the bed. So I'm gonna lay width-wise with the van. So this is space blanket, space age stuff. I know I'm integrating new technology into this van life. So this has a foam or a, a air pocket type coil inside of it. It's nice and soft. You lie down. Oh, if you've ever spoken to your doctor, lying down on your back on a hard surface is the best way to sleep. It's good for the back. And honestly, with this insulation inside this, I can already feel the heat coming up through it, which means when we go skiing next winter, we're golden. Couple blankets and a pillow. Huh. Guys, I think I just built the best van ever. Oh, and I forgot to show you something. Check this out. Right in front of me. I know, camouflage is really good. I got this 32 inch TV. So this thing is cream of the crop. Mwah. Nice flat screen on the front of it, okay? Stereo monitor. Who's got one of those? You know what I'm saying? RCA, like RCA cables, do you remember those things? <clears throat> They're as good as those, this TV. It's got the tube at the back. The tube adds to the extra picture quality of like at least 480p, I'm sure. And the weight on that thing is so light, it's just perfect for van life. It was like it was made for it. And then the last thing to show you guys is water. As you notice, everything I have here is completely spray downable. There's nothing that couldn't get wet, except for maybe the coffee maker. Might wreck the aging process we got going on inside there, right? But I have this hook, which holds our hose in place, and the hose just simply comes out and goes straight to the back tire, which gives us full access to water all the time, tons of pressure. If anybody tells you you can't get water to the back tire of their van, they're doing something wrong, or they should talk to Jeff Dares. With that being said, Let's get up to the business end of the van and we'll talk about the real project we're doing on her. How about that? Okay, so I had a whole bunch of stuff planned out for you to show you the business side of this and what we did because this is the true modification. And from the tent shop, nothing recorded. So, I'm going to have to show you from here, which is where we started. And this is what we got done. We get the side windows tinted out 50% and we also put a brow on the front windshield, which is gonna help us with the sun coming across that massive windshield that's on this. Here, let me unlock the doors, get you inside, and show you. 
that right there. So now my eye level is right there, as you can see, but just above that eye level, it's nice and tinted. That way, if we put this visor down, we still got a little bit below that, and we're not getting blinded when we're driving into all those nice, warm, 70 degree plus weathers that we're gonna be chasing. Okie dokie. Oh, in all honesty, I'm doing this to see how long I can lie this way. See if I can actually make my bed. As you can see, my knees do bend a little bit. So yes, I am truly gonna lie here for a little while and test it out. Me and Winnie, chill out. Yes, I know I love, oh yes, I love you too. Oh yes, you're so cute. Okay. These lights are gonna shut off pretty quick. And when they do, Oh, and for those of you that are paying attention to the progress, check it. We got her done. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna hold on to some of that wood, just in case we do need it for the real build. Because all the stuff that was right here was the stuff you just saw in that van. So, see you next week.